Good morning, welcome. Today we're vlogging. It's gonna be a day in the life. What are we doing today? A bunch of stuff. It is currently, actually I was just waiting for my sister to call. It's 8-11, Leo just wants to go take Becky to school and then he has to take his mom to get his dad a birthday present. So he's gonna be gone for the majority of the afternoon. What do we have to do? I have to do my cardio right now. We are almost done with this mini cut and I am super excited. So we're gonna do that. I wanna go and do a couple errands. Leo's actually going to take me, um, I got a gift card for my cousins for my birthday and I'm actually gonna go and buy my birthday present with it today. And yeah, we'll do that little birthday shopping. My birthday's in a few days. What else? Oh, I got a Halara package. I ordered some new things and I'm obsessed with Halara. I think that's gonna be my only brand I'm gonna wear now for gym clothes because mm. the way they keep the gut in is spectacular and they're super buttery soft and I really love their tops like because they have built-in sports bras which is really nice. I'll show you because I got a dress from them that I wanna wear to my father-in-law's birthday dinner on Friday. My father-in-law's birthday is on Friday what number is that? The 26th, and then my birthday's the 29th, and then my brother-in-law, my soon-to-be brother-in-law, his birthday's the 31st, so January is a busy birthday month. But yeah, I'm doing laundry. I got little things like to do, so we're having a party. My sister had me a little birthday party on Saturday. Let me show you, I have a picture of my sister and me and my cousins. Well, here's me and my sister. So here's me and my sister and her dog, Shooter. That's my sister's house, isn't her house so cute? So there's that. My sister's mother-in-law is so cute. She has this happy birthday. It's a, the, the birthday plate and they only have, um, when, at whoever's birthday it is, they get to have their birthday cake on this plate and she brought it for me. And I was like, oh my God, I'm officially a lynch now. So this was that, there we go. There's that. And you could see the, my brother-in-law was a semi-pro hockey player. And then let me show you, I have my cousins came too. Let me show you a picture of me with my cousins and my sister. It was actually my sister first time they met them. Um, if you guys are new, these are um, long lost cousins of mine from uh, my bio dad's side. And I don't have anything, I don't talk to him. We, we don't talk, and, but these are his brother's kids. And I just met them last year. So um, they're my, I love them. They're my little primas. So let's see, can I get them to focus? So there they are, they're twins. So left is Taylor, then there's Rhiannon, and then that's Morgan and me. So they're a little, they're quite a bit younger. They're only 28, but love them. I went to Taylor's wedding this summer, so, yeah, so that was that. But yeah, so we're gonna be a really good day. Um, I can show you a couple of the things that I got. Let me show you what I got. Austin's mom, my sister's boyfriend's mom, she got me this plant. I'm not, it looks fake, doesn't it? Like, look at these leaves, aren't they beautiful? Like. Look at how beautiful they are. I don't know what kind it is. I just don't know. It doesn't have on here like the actual kind, but it's absolutely beautiful. And honestly, I feel like I need to put it in a bigger pot come spring because I feel like it's really going to bloom and be huge. I love it. You guys know I brought this, I forget the name, the exact name, but it's a Monstera. And it's supposed to have these holes. Leo said it looks like I've been eaten by bugs, but it is like growing look at that i need to put this one into a bigger pot too because it is doing so well isn't she pretty i bought this one for myself so um i also have that out i got that from timu if you guys haven't watched my timu haul check it out because that thing is so cute the girls also got me this candle it's from it's called the rising it's from a, a shop by their house they live in saint charles called good roots and it's like one of those like non-hazardous hormone altering candles, but it smells really, really nice. It has a wooden wick. It's really, really nice. And then I got some birthday um, balloons. Let me show you what Rhea's friend made for me really quickly, because this is like, was one of my favorites. So Rhea's friend, her name is Haven, like Safe Haven. I just love her so much, but she made me this painting this is actually my birthday card she wrote on the back but that's my house isn't that beautiful and you could even see Benny like isn't it so cute she painted it and everything I'm actually gonna go today and look for a frame for it because I want to hang it up and like I might buy my coffee bar but isn't that absolutely beautiful and she wrote the sweetest card on the back and it literally made my day I absolutely loved it my sister got me this perfume it's from Prada it's called 
La Femme, I believe. It is so pretty. It smells very like floral, sweet, very feminine. I could see the La Femme part of it. So I really love that. It's, and it's like a huge bottle too. And it's fancy. I never had anything from Prada before. So I was like, oh, okay, girl. But while we are in here, let me show you guys. You guys know my bedroom has horrible lighting. So it is what it is. I like to have it right here because it's right in front of my treadmill. And it's also the first thing I see when I wake up. So you'll see it has the year, um, a new era of me. I said I plan to look the best I've ever looked, make more money than I've ever made, and love myself more than I ever did. 40, I'm a successful influencer. Things that, you know, for money, um, my tummy tuck, my YouTube plaque. I want to knock down that wall in my kitchen, you know, facing my anxiety, 100K subscribers, money. I want to I want to get a passport this year. Sophie is graduating, health is wealth. Um, some brands that I want to work with. So just things that, you know, pertain to me and like what I want to see. Um, these are kind of what insights look like for uh, Instagram and stuff like that. So, you know, my account grows and goes viral, just really putting out like viral vibes, you know, just being the most viral influencer, content creator, just knocking it out of the park and just live in the best version of me. That's what 40s are going to be for me. The best version of me unapologetically and you're getting what I'm giving you and I am going to be happy and healthy and live in peace. That is my goal and not only for 2024 but for the rest of my life. So I am going to get on here. I'm going to start this cardio. I got laundry going. I'm going to call my sister back and then we'll go through that Halara package and see what everything looks like. I'll probably try and everything to show you. I look like hell today, guys, but we're just going with it. I gotta take this self tanner off. I got that Pro Glow one with the max amount of DHA in it. And as nice as it is, I feel like it pulls too orange on me. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it gives me very orangey vibes. So I am taking that off and I'm just gonna go back to Bondi Sands for right now and then try some other ones out. I think it, it, I mean, it does, it's just too orange for me. It's nothing wrong with the brand. I know a lot of people like it, but I think for myself, it just makes me look very orange. Like I noticed it on some pictures, like from Saturday, and I was like, I feel like I look really orange in it and I don't like that. So anyways, um, yeah. Also, yesterday we started cleaning, like we don't live here for the party. So yesterday I cleaned out my fridge, pulled out all the furniture, wiped down all the um, dust, like the floorboards vacuumed all the crevices and mopped all my walls so i got my hair in this like raggedy braid but that's what we're doing for today because it's dirty and it needs to be washed and i'm not doing my hair until i get my birthday present okay i'm gonna go do my cardio and i'll be back okay i figured we would go through this uh alara package together i'm so excited for it yeah baby so i did i'm gonna try on everything and i'll show you but i did get a couple more of those dresses because these are going to be a whole vibe for the spring and summer like for the gym and um just like for like lounging and stuff i think we might do a vacation this year so um this one i got in a red i forget what color the red it's called but it's like a bright red and red is my power color I'll try this one on, but it has the hook in the back. I have this one in pink. I love it. And then I want to say I got another one. I really did love the pink too that they had. Oh, I cannot wait to try on everything. I got more. Look at these shirts. And these shirts are so great because the bra's built in. Like, I love this color. I have a pair of like jog joggers in this color. Built in bra. Love that. And some of these two, you necessarily don't have to wear them only like to work out in. Like they have a bra, you can like, put them with some jeans. Is this that dress? Is it brown? I thought it was black. This is cute. Okay, it's a long maxi dress, but it has a built-in bra, long sleeve, kind of a vibe, right? I'm gonna try this on. I thought I got it in black, but brown is cute. I wonder what color shoes I could wear with that. Um, I was planning on wearing that for my father-in-law's birthday dinner. And then I got another pair of leggings. I get my leggings in a medium and I get my tops in a large. I feel like 
I just like to size up a little bit because I like to, when I go to take them off because I'm usually sweaty, it's harder for me when they're a little bit tighter. So I got them in a large. But the leggings, I stayed in a medium. These are control top. Look at that control top panel. Okay, seam free in the front. The I don't know the magic it does for the booty. I got them in a gray. I wanted to get some other colors too. And when I tell you these are so much more, the quality is better than all these brands out there. I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. And they are so much more affordable. These are a flare. Look at how cute these flares are. They're a little bit of a big flare, but I thought they were cute. And I've been loving this like waistline where it does the cross in the front. I'll try these on as well. But I love that. I think it looks super flattering on and they're like my favorite and then i got them in that green color which is but this pink one i've been loving this pink color i think it's called nosegay look at the shirt isn't it so cute and it has a sweat line and the built-in cups love that some of these like workout shirts they're like oh a workout shirt and then or like a crop shirt but you gotta wear a sports bra underneath them and then it looks all funky Kind of takes away from the outfit if you're looking for some gym motivation honey get some cute clothes i got another pair of the crossover leggings in this like brown which is my favorite i love this shade it has the pockets on the side crisscross in the front would match that shirt kind of cute love it what other ones did i get i think this is a bra oh it's another shirt i love these things they're so <gasps> this is so cute does this not have cuffs Oh, dang, this one does not have cups. That's okay. This is cute, though. Look at the back. I wish this did have the cups in it, but we'll try it on anyways. I wish it did have cups. That sucks, but uh, it's okay. Not a deal breaker. We can put a cute, like a cute sports bra. Oh, and I got another dress. I got this one in black, so I feel like I can wear this like in the spring with like some Nikes and put like maybe a sweatshirt over it and kind of style it. Let me try this on and I'll show you, but this is the uh, that black dress I was showing you. They have these amazing shorts with the pockets in them, the cute little like go over part of it. You guys can see and they have the, look at them shoulders popping, but you could see the back is like a crisscross back so cute it's super duper flattering not very short but even still there's the shorts underneath like just perfect for if you're playing tennis or if you're just trying to look cute in the warmer months you know you're a busy mom running around and you still want to look cute and be comfortable i feel like this is it like look at how flat it makes the belly i feel like my waist looks super tiny because it is like that a-line and it has the built-in cup so you're literally don't even have to worry about your outfit you just slip this on and you're out the door and i just love this one i think it's so cute this is my third one i have it in green and then i have this pink one and i love them here are the leggings again look at what this like how the band right here crosses i love that i feel like it looks so nice it like it brings in the waist I love where they sit. They're like right above my ankle. I am five foot seven. It has the pockets. I like the color. It's out of my or like comfort zone. I usually stick with black. Um, majority of all my leggings are black, so I'm trying to get a little bit out of the comfort zone and add in a little bit more shades. And I like these. I feel like it just makes the booty look popping. Now here's that shirt, the black shirt. I don't have a bra on with it, but I love the feel of it. They're like buttery soft. All their material is super buttery soft, very smooth. Um, you can work. I wore them to the gym and I've worked up a good sweat and they don't get soaked. They're very, very nice. And the material of the shirt is no different, but the back is where it's different. But I'm still going to wear this to the gym. I'm just going to wear like a cute sports bra underneath it with like a lot of like, you know, like, you know, like the strings or whatever to kind of like give it a little pizzazz. But let me turn you around so you guys can see. So you can see it just ties right here in the back and this whole spot is open. I love wearing shirts like this on back day just because, you know, it's you put emphasis. That's the muscle you're working and you could see 
like the definition already and I love that again I wish they did have like the cups in them but this is still a really nice shirt and it's not a deal breaker for me um, like I said I would just wear a cute sports bra underneath in the back but the whole outfit I think is really adorable and I have actually I just bought myself a new pair of New Balances that are like a sim similar palette so that would be what I'm wearing and yeah so and I feel like it helps control this is where you know I always tell you guys you know, we have real bodies here, and this is all my loose skin, so it goes from hip to hip, and I feel like these pants really help, like, cinch that waist in, like, cinch that, like, hold that skin in and compress it, but in the most comfortable way, okay? So, and I feel like I look really flat in the belly, but I feel like the booty looks... I mean, this is the shirt. I love this. Look at how it's, like, kind of like a bolero really cute right it is a little big so I did get this in a large you can see it's like bigger here right and it's a little loose on the chest but I figured once I dry it um, it'll be fine because I'm gonna be honest with you you should never throw like your at leisure wear into the dryer but sometimes my kids will you know do something crazy and like throw in a batch of laundry and sometimes my stuff ends up in the dryer and it is what it is but um, I'm also in a cut right now and I'm going to start reversing shortly after that and I'm probably going to put on a little bit. I'm thinking we're going to try to have me gain like five or six pounds of muscle so I might be able to fill this out a little bit better. But again, it's not a deal breaker because I would also wear this shirt with a pair of jeans because it's that versatile because I don't have to wear a bra. I think it's really cute. I actually really like the thumb hole thing. I never really got into that, but the shirts I've been wearing from them have it and I think it's kind of cute and I love this. I love this green. It's This one's more of a brown and this one has more of a green tone to it, but I will leave a link for everything down below, but I love this color. I love this top. Again, you can wear it to the gym or you can wear it out. And I love that about Halara because not only are they focusing on like at leisure wear, but they have jeans, they have like uh, office pants. I mean, their stuff, I've wore their jeans numerous amounts of times. Um, their black like office pants, I've wore them tons of times and gotten so many compliments on them. I don't know why I've waited this long, but please do not be like me. You are getting the best bang for your buck with Halara compared to any other site and their quality is superior. And I'm talking those big like BB brands, the sport brands. I'm telling you guys, don't waste your money with them because this stuff is better. It's better made, better quality and way cheaper. And I feel like it's like made for you to look and feel your best too. So definitely like check them out. I am not leading you wrong. Check them out. They are worth it. So these are the uh, like high waisted like crisscross band, right? If you guys can see crisscross band, they do have a front seam if that's a deal breaker for you guys. I don't really care to be honest with you. Um, camel toe is a camel toe, you know, um, but I love these. I mean, look at how small they make the waist look. These are in a medium and they are a true flare. Like, I think these are just be so cute, just with anything. Again, they are a true flare. They're a little wrinkled because I just took them out of the package right now, but look at that. I think if you do like yoga, would be really cute. I mean, I'm gonna wear these just to the gym and do some weightlifting, but sometimes they're just cute just to wear around. I love this color. It's very springy and yeah, my favorite. I love them. Look at how like the softness of the material so nice and again a nice big flare you guys can see a nice big flare at the bottom so i also self tanned the other day and i forgot to tan this foot and not this one i don't know what i was thinking i had my mind going a million miles a minute but nonetheless these are the pants love them you guys can see right here this is where all that skin is for me and we're working on it, right? Real bodies. These are a new try for me, and I will say this. I think I would probably size up in these. Um, these are the uh, Tummy Control. They have a huge tummy, like this Tummy Control panel is compressing. This is like nothing. You are smooth there, okay? So it is super Tummy Control, and it wraps around and does like a 360. So it's nice too, because it'll get like your love handles and then it makes the booty pop. Like, look at that, it has the pockets. But I would say these fit a little bit snugger 
see I don't know if I would get a size up though because what if they like are too baggy but I would say size up in these I'm not gonna lie to you guys I would say size up because like I said this panel is very compressive so it takes a little bit more you know it, it sucks you in a little bit more so I definitely would recommend sizing up but these like it really gets you in there like I'm telling you and I love how like I said it goes all the way around to the backpack here like look at the booty the booty is popping Halara does something for the booty that nobody else can and this is that pink shirt I love this color I don't I've not I, I've always loved pink obviously my office is pink but this like pastel baby pink I love it I love it so much I feel so pretty in it and I think it is such a pretty color and I love that it has the built-in bra and I, I really do love it you can pair it with anything you know a skirt you compare it with pants you compare it with a shirt you compare it with black pants i did like gray and pink so i thought that would be kind of a cute little look but this is these pants are really nice i'm still gonna wear them i'm still gonna wear them girl because it's making the waist look tiny and the booty is looking popping and then you can put stuff in the pocket and there is no front seam in the front so and eventually sometime this year this right here will be gone and then prepare to be sick of me now here is that red dress it's coming off more of I don't know it's coming off more orange on camera where it's more of like a true red I feel like I don't know I feel like it is like a true red I'm trying to think of comparison um but yeah it's not as orange as it's coming out I don't know but it, it's definitely red okay so what I do love this is my favorite style this is the one that has the class in the back as you can see which I love that I love that extra detail right and then when you so what I like about this one is if you had to go to the bathroom you can easy removal right here you can just tr tr slide down and go to the bathroom right um that other dress does not have that option so i think that is really cute i know a lot of people they're hesitant about wearing stuff like this this also has the shorts and they're hesitant about wearing stuff like this because of you know the app having to go to the bathroom but with these they make it easier again it's a nice length very cute very fun like i was thinking this would be perfect for the fourth of july imagine that with like a cute like red white and blue headband or like a bandana and do like a betty page type thing like a pinup thing with like a red lip and like right so cute i think it'll be perfect or even like memorial day and you could be comfortable and wear a cute dress but not have to worry about the chub rub because of the shorts underneath and you don't have to wear a bra so it's less layers and I think this is perfect for summer if you're getting ready to go on a cruise or a vacation this would be perfect to take with you because it is suitable for like life okay. you know here is that long dress you guys can see floor length like a tr this is very much giving a M's. You know what I'm talking about. I messed up though, guys. I ordered this in a large and I should have gotten it in a medium because it's too big on me. Um, not so much in the body part because the body part stretches, but in the chest part. So it is a little bit too large where you can kind of see because um, it has like a, like I said, the built in bra. But it's so cute. Like, look at what it does for the figure. I feel like I could still get away with it. If I could probably, honestly, I could probably take, you know what? I could probably just take these pads out and wear a strapless bra with it. And I think I would be okay. It's just these, these pads are made for Chi Chi's and I don't got any. <laughs> oh, sh poor little look out for the girls that we lost in this weight loss battle because they gone now. Hope they're, hope they're happy wherever they are. But this is cute, right? I was thinking about wearing this to dinner for um my father-in-law's birthday what do you guys think it's a chocolate brown and then with a little bit of a booty i would probably wear just some um like shapewear underneath for right here obviously but what do you guys think i think it's so cute and i feel like it makes my waist look really tiny i just probably would have done it in a medium for the chest part but I love it. I love that it has a built-in bra, too. Like, if it was probably in a medium, it would probably fit me a little bit better in the chest. But that built-in bra was absolutely genius because who the hell wants to wear a bra anymore? Halara understands, like, bras are so last year. We don't want to wear those. Just put the cups in everything. 
but this is really cute. So if you guys want to try out anything, I'm gonna leave everything linked. I think I have a discount code. I'll leave that down below. So all in all, the compression leggings, size up in those. Um, I think everything else stay true to size. I think that, see that pink shirt? I got that in the large as well and that fit good. The other one was a little bit looser, but I think, like I said, that would shrink. This dress is absolutely perfect. It's super thick. It has a nice, heavy material. I just wish I would have gotten it in my true size medium for the cups. But I think I could just take out the cups and it'll be okay. But whatever. Um, still very, very nice material. And it's significantly cheaper than any of those other sites who have stuff like this. So we love that. I'm feeling very va-va-boom in this. But yeah. All right, let's get ready and let's start our errands for the I don't know if you guys, if I told you guys that the last, like for like two weeks, no, like a week, we had like super, super cold weather, like pretty much everywhere, everywhere in the world, right? Um, so we were like negative 50. It was crazy. Our pipes froze, our cars froze. It was a mess. Kids, our schools were closed. It was crazy. It's going to be almost 60 degrees here in like end of January, early February next week. It is raining now and like really foggy, but it's like 40 degrees. It's crazy. I don't know who that was on my phone, but I went to the store. Let me show you a few things I got. I went to Home Goods and I went to TJ Maxx. I went to Home Goods and got some new placemats because I don't like the ones I have. And it was very slim pickings when I bought them, but I got these. I think they'll match really nicely and they're nice and thick too. So, and they were a set of six, which is hard to find for 15 bucks. Usually you can get like sets of four and you have to buy it for whatever reason. Um, I got coffee grounds because we do like regular coffee, like when Leo's off and stuff, we'll do like drip coffee, which I'm loving. Sometimes I'll do even like a small pot for myself. We got the Keurig, it's like the pot and the, the cake cup like in one for Christmas for my mom. Um, and I love it. So I went and got these. These are only $5.99. So pick those up. And then I got a frame for that picture that Haven made me. So I'm going to hang that up. That kind of took me a hot minute to find. And then I went next door to TJ Maxx. This was like an impromptu thing, but I love scrub mommies. I don't like scrub daddies. I like the scrub mommies. And they're usually like four or five bucks each. I think they're $4 each. Well, this is a three pack of them for $7.99. So basically I bought two and got one free. So picked those up. I got this for Sophie. Sophie's very much in her retro era. She is like doing the beehive. She loves Priscilla. And I thought this would be fun for her. You know how like back in the day they would wear like the... <laughs> I look goofy, but you know what I mean. Kind of like that, like, boho 70s vibe. I don't know if she'll like it or not. I thought it was cute. Who knows? I'm a mom, though, you know? I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know style. Becky's in her Hello Kitty era, and when I tell you I am here for it, I am so here for it because I love Hello Kitty, and none of my girls except for Becky are enjoying it. Um, it's just like a little setting water. It has Hello Kitty on it. And then I got my... Oh, here, right here. Did the backing come out? Oh, it's in there though. Well, I got these earrings. I was like, they're kind of like the Bottega ones. Because I'm going to wear these on Friday with that brown dress. And I ordered myself some brown boots, so it'll be super mon monochromatic. And then I was out of like rose hip oil and eye cream. And I feel like my eye cream that I've been using is not working anymore. I feel like my under eyes are very, very dry. So I was like, let me try something else. I am going back to the med spa I go to on Tuesday, but not for myself. I have to go for, they like to follow up and see how like everything settles, but it's for my sister. Um, I might see if they have like some recommendations. I am going to get Morpheus 8 this month in February um, done on my face. So basically it's like micro needling with radio frequency and it's like, I think it's like 30,000 needles like puncture your skin but it helps um rebuild your collagen and it helps with like fine lines wrinkles texture and they do the face the neck and the decolletage they even could do it on like stomach with stretch marks and helps like tighten the stretch the skin again so um i'm gonna get that done and hopefully that'll help because i feel like underneath my eyes is looking really really textured lately and it's i'm not a fan um so anyways i got these two eye creams some spa scriptions i don't know i i've i've 
tried all types of brands of eye creams. I don't even know if eye creams generally work, but I try. This one is, like I said, uh, Hydrate and Firm Eye Cream with Retinol, Peptides, and Water Lily. Softens and smooths fine lines. And this one is a hydrating eye stick. And then I got some vitamin C and niacinamide for the morning. That's just for hydration. And then just some rose hip oil, which is my fave. I think that's all I got. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. Toilet paper holder because the one I have broke. And we got people coming, so. Um, and then I went and got groceries. Um, they had some really good sales. I got some pop for the parties. I got two Sprite Zeros and two Coke Zeros. And then we have regular Coke downstairs because you know we're having the party. And I know Coke Zero is terrible. I'm a terrible person. I know. Put it in my obituary. Um, eggs, dozen of eggs. If you guys are to, local to the Jewel, 99 cents. You can't beat that. I got some, uh, these are so good, Italian seasoned mild banana peppers. I throw these in my Salado. Um, these are really, really good. Uh, yeah, so I do, like I said, my uh, cut wraps up on Friday. And then um, basically, you know, I kind of have a, f a free few days just to kind of like enjoy life and enjoy my parties and stuff like that. But when they say free few days, it's not like I'm going to eat bad for days and days at a time. It's just I'll have like... Um, like I'll go out to dinner on Friday. I'll probably have some food on Saturday at the house. I'm going to be honest with you though. When pe let me know if you guys are this way. If I was even able to have food at my sister's house at her party, but I didn't eat because you know, when you're so busy socializing, talking and this, you just, I wasn't hungry. I'm always like that at parties. Like I've never sat down at a party and like, like ate, especially if I'm hosting because I'm so busy doing everything else that I always forget to eat. I, all right, am I the only one? Let me know. Um, I got a bag of chips for the girls. These were 10 bucks. So um, I'm not going to be able to make it to Costco probably for another two weeks. And the girls are running out of uh, chips for school. So I just throw these in my room and leave them in there for them. And then what else? They have some other good sales. I have some, I'm making a couple dips for the party, but I'm also going to make them real so you guys can make them too because these dips are going to be really, really good for Super Bowl parties or like if you guys are having playoff parties. But um, these bags of avocados were $1.99. Limit two, but still $1.99. And I'm going to do a like creamy avocado dip. I got a ton of apples because me and Leo and the girls love the apples. Apples were on sale for 99 cents a pound. Some of this stuff I need for a recipe because for dinner tonight. So like these tomatoes that cost me four bucks because none of them were on sale. I'm making pico, pico and deal. Pico and deal. Pico Nadio, something like that. I forget how you say it. Um, it's basically like ground beef and potatoes. I'll show you guys how to make it. I got five of these cantaloupe cups. I break these up until two and I put them in the lunch bag for the kids to take to school. I actually have one in the car too. I got some jalapenos for tonight's dinner. I get my little mini cucumbers and I throw those in my salad. And I got cilantro for tonight's dinner. So I got reduced fat milk. Now I don't drink this, but um, the girls sometimes have milk and I have a couple recipes I need milk for 99 cents even if I don't finish it all and I toss it just for recipes 99 cents you can't beat it and then I got some almond milk this is a vanilla unsweetened yep vanilla unsweetened almond milk I got a thing of watermelon this was five dollars was it a best deal no but the kids have been craving some watermelon and we are they're officially ready for summer um, these are for myself. These are the no sugar added fruit cups. You guys know I love these things. I throw them in with my cereal or I'll have them as a snack. I have been doing Canadian bacon this last like week and a half and or like this Canadian bacon and I've been loving it. Um, usually I do two pieces of turkey bacon and they're 45 calories each and I think the grand total of protein for them is I think it comes out to be in like eight grams of protein for both pieces. You can get three pieces of turkey bacon for 60 calories and you get 10 grams of protein. So the macros came out a little bit nicer. So I've been enjoying that and you get a little bit more food, um, some more diced peaches, and then my fat-free Italian dressing. Let me show you what we're having for dinner. Like I said, I cook this early because it has to cook like maybe 45 minutes or something or so because you got potatoes. So right here I have two pounds of the 93% lean ground beef. And then I have, you know, a handful, I don't know, 
of potatoes in there. They're cleaned and diced. Um, these are the yellow potatoes, so I just make sure I clean them really good, and they have really thin skin, so I just leave the skin on, right? And that's that. So for seasoning, now some people do this differently, okay? This is how I do it. If you know a different way, then do how you do. I make like a, a salsa, I guess. Um, I take you know, two or three tomatoes. These were a really big one, so I took two big ones. I have two jalapenos. I may not use both. I think I might only use one because it might be too spicy. An onion, and I boil them so they get tender, right? And then I'm going to blend them, and I'm going to add in a bunch of cilantro, and then some nor chicken bouillon, and that's it, right? So that's just going to be our sauce, and then I will add it to this pot, and just let it cook down. And then you serve it with tortillas. Everybody loves it. It goes really, really well, and it's super simple because you could even throw like whatever. You can throw carrots in here. You can throw peas. You can throw whatever vegetable you have. You can basically clean out your refrigerator or your you know vegetable bin and get rid of whatever you have and throw it in there, whatever veggie you want. But it's really simple, and um, everybody really likes it. So that's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to blend this up, and then I will show you how I kind of assemble it. But I like to cook it in this pot because this pot will stay warm. I don't know if I told you guys this, but Becky's in theater right now, and she's actually stage crew, and so she's been at school late this week, and then her play's actually tomorrow, so um, I want to make sure that, you know, it'll be ready when everybody gets home from their after-school activities. I forget to tell you how I season this meat. I add in a little bit of salt. I salt as I go, just remember, because sometimes Nora could be a little salty. Um, black pepper, cumin, smoked paprika, and a lot of garlic. And that's it. And then the rest of the seasoning will come from the salsa that I am going to blend and add to the pot. This is what it looks like. I added in that salsa. Real simple. And that's it. I, there's a name for it. I can never pronounce it correctly. It's like pico no... You, you, you know. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, I'll type it out on the screen. But um, just so if you find that your so usually what i do when i make any salsa i'll try it and then i'll add more seasoning so um i felt like it was a little bland so i had a little bit more nor is it a little spicy yes but you have to remember that it's going to cook for about 45 minutes these potatoes are going to give off water um the meat's going to absorb some of the spice you don't want it to be bland okay um so just go ahead and let it cook i only ended up using one jalapeno and that one's in there so um, just let it come once it's boiling like this is I'm gonna turn it down to like medium low and just let it simmer until the potatoes are cooked all the way through um, it's going to kind of render down to you're gonna get rid of some of that liquid don't worry I'm gonna clean up all my dishes and then I start on my fish for myself but this is dinner super simple and it is a fresh salsa but some people just prefer to do like canned tomato and just season it but i like to do the fresh salsa better but you do you it's many different ways to do it this is just how i was taught to do it so all right i'm gonna clean up my kitchen make my food and then leo's on his way home so we'll see what here is up. my tilapia i have it seasoned with the spicy chili lime seasoning keeping it real simple uh, like i said i'm about to wrap up this uh cut and um what am i on lee Cut. He always makes fun of me, but... All right, Leo, tell them the name of this. Picadillo. Picadillo. I call it Piccolo Mundo. <laughs> but seriously, they give it a stir because I can't hold the lid and do this. Um, as you can, like I told you, it renders down and it just... It's, you could put add a bunch of stuff to this. That's too. what I told him. You can literally throw your whole vegetable bit in here and just fatten it up. And it's literally like whatever's left in your house just to kind of make... I, don't you think the fresh salsa when I make it instead of just doing canned tomato makes a big difference or cut up tomato? Yeah. But, yeah. you know, sometimes you can't, you don't have time. Yeah, so if you don't have time, but it honestly takes like five minutes. Honestly, don't skip that step. If you're gonna, if you're gonna make it, be a donia. Even though you don't know how to pronounce it, you can still go ahead and be a donia and make it correct. Hi, we're home. I went and I got my birthday prizes. So remember I told you my cousins gave me a gift card for my birthday? So I went to use that and I didn't, I knew I wanted to not like spend it on, they specifically said don't spend it on the house or your kids. So here we are. Or groceries. Or groceries. So I bought myself something that I've been looking at and I got myself some Bose earphones. These are the noise canceling ones. Um, I did a lot of research on them and personally, this is a little pricey, okay? Um, so I knew I didn't, I, I was looking at those earphone, ear, 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 Apple ear, Vax, 
whatever. Oh, my baby's gone. The ones that go over your ears, those were like $5.50. I was like, girl, you crazy as hell. These were a decent price, and they had actually better reviews than the Apple EarPods, Sony, the Beats one. So this had a really good review. So I bought these. So this is from a cousin. Thank you, ladies. So I got those. And then Leo and the girls bought me this. And it, the Shark Flex Style. So um, I was going to between this and a Dyson, but the Shark actually has better reviews in compared to the Dyson. And um, yeah, so I really been wanting one, and I've been I'm excited to get it. So I got that, and that's it. And if I wanted to buy more attachments, they're only like thirty dollars, and opposed to like fifty on Dyson. And like I said, it has really good reviews. So it has the paddle brush, oval brush, and the wrap curlers. And then obviously um, the little air dryer. So yeah, happy birthday to me. I'm very excited. So yeah, that is it. I will leave a link for, what am I going to leave a link for? For all the stuff from Halara down below. Um, we're going to do a little bit of shopping um, before Becky gets home. Sophia's eighth grade pictures came in and they look so cute. I love them so much. Dinner came out good. The girls ate. They liked them. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for hanging with me. Very simple dinner. You guys can make that. If you make it, let me know. Usually we could serve it with tostadas, uh, tortilla chips, or, tor or tortillas. Comes out fabulous either way. And yeah, so I guess I'll check with you guys in the next one. I'm going to go charge my headphones because I'm really excited to use them. And I'm going to wash my hair and style it so I can get the hang of this. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, friends.